Hi everyone, it's Emily Rossmus here again at the Ned Smith Center for Nature and Art. Today I am in the All Wine Gallery looking at some of the beautiful artwork that the Perry County Council of the Arts has supplied for the exhibit Nature's Palette. The exhibit will be up now until about the end of April and will be having a reception on February 29th from 1 to 4 p.m. If you're interested in more details, check out our website or just come check it out in person. This is our Ned Talk. So my name is Hunter Kaufman, I'm the Nature and Arts Educator at the Ned Smith Center here and we are here today with Jasmine Colbert of the Perry County Council of the Arts. Uh, so Jasmine, why don't you tell us a little bit about PCCA and kind of how you got involved in your history with it. Absolutely. The Perry County Council of the Arts was formed in 1982 and incorporated in 1985 as a 501c3 nonprofit arts organization. We're located in Newport, Pennsylvania. That's where our home offices are. Um, we have two locations, physical locations. We have the PCCA Gallery on the square in Newport, and we have Landis House, which is an historic home that was willed to us by Mary M. Landis, um, and that serves as our administrative offices. And we have our four core programs. We have PCCA Gallery, which represents upwards of 150 artists from the community. They're anywhere from emerging artists to uh, professional artists. We work with them to develop their artistic style, their things like their artist statements, their presentation, and we work with professional artists too to display their works um, as they become further along in developing their style, we like to showcase them to inspire other new artists who are in that space. We also have creative community programs, and they are things like drop-in art. Um, that's a monthly free program for families to come create art together. They may or may not have those tools at home, and so they can come and create in a space with an instructor and helpful volunteers to make the experience go a little more smoothly. We do list those projects online so that they can continue to do them in their own homes. We have concerts. We have concerts that we'll hold at the Landis House location because we have a beautiful Beckstein piano in the space. And the space is intimate and a nice presentation for uh, performers to come. But our last one is our Arts and Education, which serves seven counties. And those are not only Perry, but Mifflin, Juniata, Snyder, Union, Northumberland, and Huntington. That's through the Pennsylvania Council on the Arts. We do that through a partnership with them. And we place artists who are teaching artists to do things like community murals, or tackle a problem or issue in the community or in that space, like bullying, and create an end product. Or sometimes it's just doing the creative process and seeing what comes out of that personally for the students, the teachers and faculty who are involved with that program. Well, that's really great to hear. Uh, PCCA obviously sounds like they have a very far reach and they're an invaluable community resource. Uh, so what would you say is your favorite thing about being in PCCA? It's all the people that you meet in doing this job. Um, it is, it's like not just a job, it's kind of like your way of life and you, you go out and you see people like anywhere I go, I feel like I see people that I know from Perry County Council of the Arts, from working here, because it's been such a long part of my life. Um, I've been with the organization for 16 years, so it's kind of definitely a part of my fabric. Um, and I think that's my favorite part, is the people, the people and the, uh, the relationships that you form. We're really thankful to have PCCA in the gallery here. It's yeah. a great exhibit. Thank you for hosting us. We are proud and honored to display our variety of artists that we frequently, some of which we frequently work with, and some maybe who are newer to us, but it's great to have these spaces that are outside of our norm that sort of challenge us because uh, we come in and we're, it's a new space, so it's like how can we fill this with the best possible re representation we can 
of the artists who we commonly work with. So thank you very much for having us. Again, thank you so much to the PCCA for coming and hanging this beautiful exhibit for us here in the All Wine Gallery. Now it will be up until the end of April once again, and that reception on February 29th will also feature some hors d'oeuvres and drinks from 1 to 4 p.m. So come, check it out, meet some of the artists, and maybe since some of the artwork here is for sale, take part of, your, part of the Rainbow home with you. We'll see you next time on Ned Talks.